So guys, this is Krits and you are watching Krista's reaction. So I am today going to react to women born without arms use PPE gowns for frontliners. Front liners. Okay, I think I have heard about her because I think her video got viral or something like that. And she is like a now a big speaker in uh, Malaysia. So I am really excited to react about her because we are going to see. I think when I see these kind of videos, I usually get really motivated. Then I feel like shit because uh, people who don't have arms also serving their country so wonderfully. And we are so with, with so much of resources still can't do anything. Uh, it feels like yeah, are we doing our part or not in this development for ourselves and the country. So uh, that really hits me most of the time when I see this kind of video. So I and I really got emotional quickly. So if you guys see me cry, uh, like getting a little emotional there, please ignore it because I'm really emotional kind of girl, type of girl. So yeah, that's just a warning. So yeah. I usually get really jealous. I don't know why. It's just my nature. So let's start with the reaction. Hey guys, if you're going to like my reaction, please click the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. If you want me to react to any other video, please link it down in the comment section. Out. Let's get on with the reaction. Three, two, one. Norfara Shahira Shaari recently made headlines after a video of her wow. using just her feet to sew personal protection equipment for frontliners Seriously? went viral. The 32-year-old motivational speaker, who hails from Baganda Tok Perak, was born without arms. Sebenarnya uh, projek uh, membuat baju ni uh, kawan saya sebahagian uh, setelah kaki tangan polis kemudian intan. Jadi kami hanya menggunting dan juga menyediakan bahan lah untuk dihantar kepada sukarelawan kan jahit sekitar turut intan. Walaupun saya pakai kaki je, tapi Saya fikir kenapa saya tak cuba untuk menjahit baju frontliner ni sebab saya ni uh, ada kemahiran menjahit. Daripada situ dah saya cuba menjahit satu baju dan seterusnya saya ambil dalam uh, lapan pasang macam itulah. Her group wow. sold 252 PPE gowns within two weeks which were then delivered to the Teluk Intan Hospital and Teluk Intan Health Clinic. Saya belajar menjahit daripada ibu saya lah. Masa daripada kecil memang baju-baju saya, mak yang saya yang jahitkan dah. Uh, dari segi kita nak uh, menggunting, uh, menggunting so, baju, nice. kena masukkan benang kepada jarum. Benda tu uh, memerlukan ketelitian lah. Bagi saya uh, tak susah pun kalau nak jahit pakai kaki ni sebab uh, memang kelebihan saya hanya pada kaki dan semua perkara yang saya buat hanya uh, pakai kaki lah. Farah is able to live independently without help from family members wow. and can even drive a car. Saya start belaj- uh, bawa kereta ni pada tahun 2012 lah. Uh, saya kerja masa tu dekat Institut Perikanan okay. Negara dekat Sabak Benam. Ayah lah yang hantar saya pergi kerja, balik kerja. Saya pernah melihat kawan saya yang tak ada tangan uh, driving sendiri pakai kereta. Situlah saya timbul lah perasaan kenapa saya tak bawa kereta sendiri uh, menggunakan kaki sedangkan dia boleh kenapa saya tak boleh kan. Uh, jadi di situlah orang kata permulaan uh, saya bawa kereta. Uh, perasaan pada depan tu memang ada lah jalan raya kan uh, dengan sibuk jalur ori ke kereta kan semua laju-laju. Jadi saya uh, ada macam perasaan buat semangat lah. Lepas tu yakin saya yakin yang saya boleh buat. Alhamdulillah uh, pertama kali bawa tu uh, saya rasa saya uh, yakin lah. Uh, tak rasa takut. Uh-uh. Farah is often invited to give motivational talks in overcoming daily challenges. Saya sebenarnya tak menjangkakan yang uh, apa yang saya buat. Saya pernah dulu viral bawa kereta. Saya pernah viral pakai tudung, pakai shawl kan. Dan sekarang ni uh, saya uh, menjahit baju kan. Jadi macam uh, saya tak sangka yang saya boleh uh, menjadi satu inspirasi. Saya rasa bersyukurlah sebab uh, semua nampak kelebihan yang saya ada. Dan semoga apa yang uh, video yang saya siarkan uh, walaupun uh, saya ataupun golongan OKU yang lain yang kekurangan, ketidaksempurnaan dari segi uh, fizikal kan. Kami mampu untuk uh, melakukan sesuatu perkara tu. Uh, uh, sama macam uh, orang normal buat kami yakin yang kami boleh buat dan alhamdulillah dengan uh, apa yang saya ada kelebihan yang saya ada dengan menggunakan kaki ni je saya mampu buktikan uh, 
semua yang saya buat tak ada uh, bantuan pun daripada orang sekeliling saya. Terima kasih kepada semua yang uh, mendoakan saya. For her future plans, Farah wants to pursue a degree after completing a diploma in public administration at UITM Seri Iskandar next year. <laughs> fell in love with her she is so motivating and she has this kind smile on her face i mean uh i hope not but if i'm in this kind of situation i don't know what i'll do i think i will just uh will go like um i don't know like kya kahenge it's like um <laughs> I just think she is a really motivating person overall. I I just want to be like her. I mean, when you have this kind of disability, you can say, in your life, and it's also in day to day life. Then also she has this kind of smile and spirit. I just want to have that because most of the time I go in depression or what. I was like our day to day life is really hectic too, and most of the time we got like. Uh, sad from it, or we just kind of like depressed from it. Well, I see that, and the same time I see her video, how she's helping out the all the frontliners, all the pullers, and the doctors with uh, how much she, like she can do, how can she sway? It's like really amazing to see that like a scene. I know why her video will go viral because it's just uh, many people can do, but most of the people are not doing this. And when a person do who ha- doesn't even have this kind of like a uh, uh, like you can say uh, uh, disability she has this kind of disability and still she is doing it it's kind of motivating so yeah i really loved it i hope you guys also loved it so yeah i think she is really i really love her this kind of persons are so motivating and like they make you a more positive person rather than a negative and I don't know you can get jealous a little bit uh, from seeing all this thing that they are doing so I really hope she pursue a degree and get it uh, with the highest score ever and I I think she will do it she is so talented she will do it so thank you hey guys for love my reaction please click the like button don't forget to subscribe and please link it down in the videos uh, like link in the comment section because it most of the links got blocked by the youtube so directly comes to me so i can like quick uh, quick view rather than the comment so i really loved uh, thank you for that and bye bye